Hello friends. How's it going? Um, happy Thursday. I, ha I have actually been working most of the day, like on different things, but the actual things I told myself, like you're going to do today didn't happen. Um, no other excuse other than myself did a lot of, <laughs> you know, when you're like, I have so much to do or like you tell your husband, you're like, Hey, we have to be like on the road and an hour. We got to get this, this, and this done. And you like look outside and he's like blowing off the driveway with a leaf blower. And you're like, what are we doing right now? I am having one of those days and I have no idea why. Um, I don't know if I didn't get enough rest, no clue, but I just am like having one of those days where you're like, right now seems like a good time to clean out underneath my bathroom sink said no one ever all right speaking of bathroom sinks uh if i plan to do my skincare with you um then i should move to the bathroom for a moment let's go together carry this with me um somehow why i brought it in here i have no idea uh How's it going? How's your day been? So when I was in Utah, I had the most beautiful light, the most beautiful light you've ever seen. The sun came directly into my room. It was like angels singing into the hotel room. Uh, just the way that the sun came, like came in and right directly in front of the window. It's wonderful. Well, here at our house, the sun rises on the side of our house and sets on the other side. So we don't really get direct light inside of our home and we have a big porch on the front of our house. So I've decided if I ever move, I need to like really pay attention to where the sun is for my house because so if I ever build, you're gonna be like, why do you pull up to the corner of your house? This is so weird. But it's like, well, the sun comes in this way. Uh, that's how it currently. I'm like, okay, well, and it's cloudy. So that's just the start of the progression. You know, you're like, I need to film. I just can't get the light that I need. And then you have all these kids that are like, I want a smoothie. And I want this. And I want that. I'm like, can you French braid my hair? And then we have ants. And... Uh, I'm sure all of you are all doing the same things, right? I'm not being a downer. This is really just how it is. And so here we are. This is yesterday's makeup, by the way. There's just too many things to remember. Um, just as a grown up, you know, you're like, man, there are so many things. What are things that you're like, huh? So I went to the doctor yesterday and I have bought so many vitamins over the years. I uh, am a sucker for a supplement. I will take certain things consistently and then other things not. And then I like complain whenever things aren't working, but I didn't take them. <laughs> I'm like, why am I not losing weight? And then I'm like, well, I haven't taken my trim in two weeks, huh? Well, here we are. Um, so I had blood work done yesterday. And my hormones are just like out of whack, which I like felt I probably they are or were. I mean, I'd quit nursing and once I quit nursing Veda, I just felt like wonky. Um, and maybe even while, maybe after I had Veda, um, just, preg just pregnancy in general and having babies, you know, where you're like, I just don't feel quite myself. So add that to the list. She's like, you have to be taking your vitamins and you have to be taking these supplements here, here, and here. And my body is not producing progesterone. Uh, so I have to start progesterone, which I took when I was pregnant with Beta. And, uh, but I'm going to try taking it at night and seeing if that makes a difference. Um, she diagnosed me with PCOS. Uh, which I've had cysts on my ovaries before and I kind of thought just like based on most of the markers that 
like insulin resistant, hard to lose weight, hard to, um, have, like a lot of facial hair, um, just different things. I've thought like maybe, uh, but my blood work shows definitely insulin resistant and, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome type stuff. So if anybody has any tips on that, that'd be great. Um, but so taking better care of ourselves. So I'm going to work on it. Is there anything you guys have been doing that you're like, Hey, I started doing this and, uh, this has gotten better. So Low carb is best for PCOS. So that's what she said. She was like, every time you eat carbs, it's like putting like gasoline on a fire. And I have done low carb before and it was, um, I've had, you know, good success. I'm also really, you know, I love food. Just so good. I just love food. Uh, but I'm probably never going to be one of those people that can just eat anything they want. So anyways, um, but, uh, I will say like a few things. So Mo, Mo Dare, Palm, there are a few deals going on today. Um, and so I wanted to be sure that you like knew about those, but, um, so I gained a hundred pounds, uh, sorry, I gained a hundred pounds right around like 98 or something like right around a hundred pounds. Um, when I was pregnant with Veda and then had her, then she was in the NICU and I felt like we were just eating pizza and like grabbing like ice cream snicker bars and headed back up to the NICU kind of thing and just stressed and all the things. And so when I started trying to actively lose weight, I was at 275 and, um, I was nursing her and it did not come off like, just like that. But, um, in the first 10 months I did lose about 60 pounds. And so, uh, by taking, just eating healthier and then, um, cut out most bread, rice, you know, all that, uh, if it wasn't fruit, uh, and trying to even limit fruit, um, and increasing my water. Uh, but Modere's trim helps inhibit fat storage and y'all, it is like inches lost. Um, and then I do the activate cleanse with them every single month. It's a three day cleanse, really easy to use. Uh, there's so many like different products I feel like that are really beneficial. Um, but things I'm wanting to start personally working on, I ordered digestive enzymes to help with bloating. And then I've been taking a probiotic every day, uh, which I had been told to do that, like try and get your gut health in check. And so, so I'm just working on being a grown up. That's it. Um, and, uh, Ooh, cutting out sodas you did in February and you drink crystallite. That's amazing. Sandra. Uh, Janie, you just got the chocolate. The chocolate trim is my favorite. Um, it is, it tastes like brownie mix. So that's really good. All right. We're going to go in with plump from Palmafera. So Palmafera has a 99 cent shipping today. at midnight. And then Modere has 10% off site wide. So I use Pomifera for skincare. Um, and then Modere for just wellness. They do have skincare as well. Um, I just, to be honest, I've really never even used it. <laughs> I have loved Pomifera and I've been using Pomifera for years. Um, nothing to knock. Uh, I just feel like it's I used to have cystic acne really bad. And so, uh, since I've used Pomifera, like my skin is just fl like, I almost said flawless. Uh, it's for me, it is flawless. <laughs> and, um, I don't get like, I rarely ever even get a breakout. And so, uh, it makes me nervous to switch to anything else. So not knocking any brands for anything, but this is just what works for me. And so, um, a little bit of Brighton. This is a vitamin C serum, just gonna help even out your skin tone and take out redness. So Lexi did Adam's skincare the other night and he is very uh, red toned, he's a redhead. And she did a brightening serum on him, uh, the Brighton. And she's just all about skincare. She's so cute. She does Veda's like skincare every night. It's just adorable. Um, and uh, that's the 11 year old with the baby. And so, but she was doing on Adam and like in a few minutes I looked at him and I noticed like 
he was like brown, like tan looking and not red. And so I was like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. It like took out a lot of the redness in your face. And so I thought that that was like really, um, really funny. Okay. Deborah says don't eat until after seven. So I'm going to go over some of the things that after I'm not a doctor, but after meeting with my doctor yesterday, some of the things that she talked about that I felt like were really helpful. So, um, she said like some of the ancestry diet type things, uh, show like to eat during a window. So you have 16 hours of fasting and then, um, eight hours that you're you eat. And so what that looks like for her is, you know, not eating until like 11 and then, uh, cutting off all food at seven. And so, and I'd been told by a previous doctor, like, even if you can do like nine to six, like anything like that, like that short window, giving like eight hours that you eat, um, like that, that's a really good way. Cause then your body is forced to break down fat. So I was like, well, that's a good tip. Um, and she wants me to go back on doing low carb, which I dread, but she was like, just basically I'm eating healthy, but, uh, I need, I'm doing like smoothies in the morning. Um, but I need to cut out like adding a banana and berries to it. She said I could keep the berries if I want, but bananas are really high carb. So just certain things so that I don't self-sabotage. I am totally the person that will do good and then be like, gonna eat a potato, you know? And it's like, oh, well, you just, all that hard work you were working on, you just threw out the window over a potato. And so uh, that was something that she mentioned. And then water intake. I know I don't drink enough water, like at all. Um, and so uh, getting my water intake up, um, that is uh, something I'm gonna work on. And then just trying not to do, she was like, basically when you're insulin resistant, uh, she was like, every time you eat carbs, it is just putting like gas on a fire in a bad way. And so that's what's going on. So I'm gonna start some hormone replacement. And uh, my iron was um, like severe anemia still. So I'm going to, um, start taking iron supplements again. Then my vitamin B and my vitamin D are low. So basically the gist of this is not to, I mean, it's just, I don't care to share with you my medical, whatever, but, um, it's to be like, Hey, like listen to your body. If you feel like something feels off, like it might be because you're just not like, maybe I'm not taking care of myself as much as I should. Like I'm not being consistent with like, I know I have low B B vitamins. I need to be taking them every day, you know? And so just a reminder, like it is hard being a grown up. It is hard to remember like your steps, your water, your walking, your fruits, your veggies, your, um, all the things you do to try and be healthy. And so anyways, we can do this together. Got this. Um, I ordered this, but I've never taken it. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it has been in a box for months and I actually just opened it because I got the wild hair I should organize even though like it's not it's not organized um and so I, I opened this and I was like oh my gosh I ordered it when I felt like my hormones were wacky and so I was looking at it and it has most of the things she said I needed to be taking so um this is called Ova it's from Modair and uh they do have a 10% off site wide right now on their website, but, um, Modair is what I've been taking for, um, I'm at like, uh, right at a hundred pounds loss since I had beta. Um, and so that's who I take the cleanse, the, um, if you drop the word me, I wrote out a little thing of what I've been doing so I can send it to you. Um, but this is called Ova and this is from them as well. And so the way it works, it has niacin, magnesium, copper, like these are like little things that she was like, Hey, you need to be taking like this, this, and this iron, um, iodine, uh, theocrine, zinc, like things to help with your libido. So basically this helps in your phases of your menstrual cycle. So if, not to say you shouldn't go to the doctor or get your hormones or whatever, but they have two of these. They have the OVA and then OVA M, which is people who are going through menopause. And um, I had some friends taking the menopause version and we were just talking about hormones. This was a while back. And um, she was like, you should totally try this. It has made such a difference with like my night sweats, my mood, like my drive, like it's so good. She's taking the menopause version. She's older than I am. And she was like, but they have one to kind of help you with your periods and like everything. And so, so I ordered this one. 
it does me no good sitting in a box. <laughs> but I'm going to start, I am going to promise to take it because I feel like I need to work on my health. And, uh, I, and my doctor agreed that this would be really great for me to take. So, um, it also has things like clove, flower, bud extract and fruit extract and sage and, um, just different things, a peppermint leaf extract, like just so many good things for you. But the way it works is days one through four of your period, you take the release tablet and then, and obviously you can consult with your doctor, whatever your doctor recommends kind of thing. Um, this is, but you know, this is what I'm choosing to do. And then renew is in the follicular phase. So days five through 16 of your period. Um, and that's going to give you iron to help like replenish iron. Um, and balance is the luteal phase. And so that's day 17 through 32. Uh, and they do give you an extra four of these in case, um, your next period starts before your new box arrived. So, so I'm going to start doing that and then I'm getting prescription, my progesterone, uh, she said it needs to be between five and 10, um, for where I was on my cycle and mine was on 0.18. So like, I'm just, every time I have blood work done, I'm just not producing uh, progesterone. And I had to take that when I was pregnant with Veda because I wasn't producing progesterone and they were worried I was going to like lose a baby. And so, uh, cause it wasn't like doubling the way it was supposed to. Um, but I'm not pregnant. Um, but I do know that it is important to have like your health, uh, where it needs to be. So I'm adding that as well. Um, I don't know, just trying to be like, let you know what's going on. Um, and, uh, and where, where we're at. So definitely, um, you know, take the advice of your doctor, but this is what I, I'm just kind of going through and sharing. All right, we're going to get ready, ready. Um, do, do, do. Dewy skin. Do you see it like skin tone? I don't know. Pomifair skincare just so good. Do you hear that baby? Um, I got her some of the cutest swimsuits. I don't have links for them. They were from like a little boutique here in town. Uh, they were so cute. I'm going to take her to, Adam's been taking her to swim lessons. Um, but he has to go to the camp tomorrow. And, um, so I, I'm going to take Veda to swim lessons in the morning. And she has this like little vintage ice cream swimsuit like the cutest thing I've ever seen and I can't wait to like take her in it. Uh, we got her out of her high chair today and there were hundreds of ants in it. I don't know how she didn't get bit like just a miracle from the Lord seriously because there was so so many ants. Um, last night she had eaten watermelon. She was so messy. I gave her a bath and then I put her to bed and it took her like two hours to go to bed last night. And I mean, I like rocked her, fed her a bottle, laid her down. She was screaming. We like watched, you know, some of a show. We read a book. We, it, it just took so long to get her to bed last night. I never cleaned up the watermelon for life. And the ants found it. How they like signaled all their friends that this is where like the watermelon in the world is. They, they signaled them. And so today put her in, didn't think anything of it. And when we got her out, there were just ants like everywhere. Um, just gotta work on an ant problem. Uh, all right. But yeah. Speaking of camp, Adam's going there tomorrow, but, um, if you've ever wanted to stay at Camp Swan, so we bought a summer camp and renovated it. Uh, we have 10 cabins there, or you could run out the whole camp or individual ones. They're so cute. It's one of my favorite places to go. Um, but we have like a Father's Day deal going on. It just started today. Um, and it's like just for my followers and we send, we're sending it out in the newsletter tomorrow. Um, but if you book it, any dates in 2023, um, you can book and get 20% off and the code is best dad. It's like a Father's Day deal. It's the first time we've offered a promotion with the camp. Um, the last few weeks, the entire, like it's been full and so it's been great uh and we still have several bookings but we're just uh just offering a deal so you can just go to courtneyswan.com and click camp swan if you want or you can go to CampSwan.com. um but you have to book directly through us that way like you can't do it on airbnb or brbo or whatever and get the deal but if you go to CampSwan.com and book 
Um, so we have like a dolly cabin. We have like a really cute lodge that's got like several bedrooms that you could go, but you and your friends could come at the same time, but it's in Monteagle. So it's like uh, about 50 minutes from Chattanooga, depending on traffic, 45, 50 minutes. And then it is about an hour and a half from Nashville. Um, and it's just really cute. It's like a glamping type uh, place. So it's on 50 acres right on a lake. Uh, you can rent kayaks and fish and as long as you get your fishing license um, and all those things. And so if you've wanted to go to campswan.com and uh, use the code or if you're needing like a Father's Day gift, um, you could book it and then like drop it in like, hey, I booked us a trip or something for Father's Day. Where did I put my sponge? Yay, you're coming in July? That's awesome, Crystal. We've gotten to meet people since we've been out there. We go out there a good bit. Uh, I sure, like, especially if there's like, oh, this cabin's open and the kids love going up there and going like fishing and, um, and we took our whole family so I went kayaking not too long ago and it's just a really good time. There are also so many, like when you go, be sure, like there are so many waterfalls and there's like uh, the caverns, which play big concerts, like in this huge cavern, um, like underground kind of cave thing. And so concerts there, they have uh, some of the best hiking trails, like the Fiery Gizzard and just a lot of beautiful state parks um, that are on like the most beautiful hikes in the Southeast type, like rated number one through 10, like of trails are like in that area. And so um, I feel like I have something in my eye. Uh, so be sure you, if you're a hiker uh, that you, I can see it. I can actually see it in my eye from the camera. Data's crying. Her, I don't know if it's like the swimming lessons or her schedule's off. Something's off because she's gone from being like such a good sleeper to like not. Okay, a little bit of hula today. I said I was going to tan, but I haven't. Is she teething? You know, she might be. She has two uh, teeth down here that are coming through. And so um, it could be her teeth, maybe. She cut her toe. Um, I don't know when it happened. It isn't bleeding. But I saw it when I, I got her out of her bath and I was like putting lotion on her. And it like made me physically nauseous. So it's like in between her big toe and her foot, like on that seam. And I don't know if she like tripped or run, ran or something, but it's like the bottom of her toe is like split in an ugly way. And, um, oh, so good. but it isn't bleeding. It doesn't look infected or anything. It just looks like, you know, uh, it's so bizarre. I was like, should we glue it shut? Like, but I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But we just, I'm like, well, that would make anybody grumpy. So maybe it's her toe. Oh, it doesn't seem to be bothering her. It bothered me. Have you ever seen something and it like physically makes you like queasy? That's how it was. Like, I didn't expect it. And I'm like, what could she have done? She literally doesn't do anything. So her feet aren't dry, but she has been taking swimming lessons every day. And Adam said it used to happen to him as a child all the time. He was like, oh, I would like jump off the stairs or something. And it would just like tear. And I'm like, what'd they do for it? He was like, nothing, just put Neil's horn on it. It heals up. And I'm like, oh. it's like, we got to moisturize these babies' toes. I didn't even know that was a possibility. What brush is that? This is a Tarte brush. Uh, if you need a link, you can send me a message and I'll get you one. Um, I love it. It's a Kabuki brush and it's just a great foundation brush. And then this is uh, just the Hoola by Benefit. It's the jumbo size and it's like such a cool product because 
the brushes just, I don't know, I feel like it works really well. So our kids are going to camp next week and it'll leave Veda at home. And um, normally I would have planned something like, oh, let's go do something fun or whatever. But I feel like between all the things, I'm like, I just can't, I just don't want to be busy. And so instead I'm like, we're going to alternate like sleep in days and Adam and I are going to like organize some of our like do things that it's so hard to do when all the kids are busy um and so we are just going to and I'm really excited about it I mean I love all the kids and I love hanging out with them and uh having them home for summer uh but oh I don't know about y'all's but my kids are like oh, they're so needy um and then you know they like want you like, mom watch this mom watch this mom and so it's a lot of watching flips and dives and uh swim and bikes and all the things and so I'm like okay which Lexi's a great organizer she will help me organize sometimes and uh that's kind of been I saw um I almost said I saw an article basically I saw a TikTok post and it was like about not entertaining your kids this summer but letting them like just help you do the things that you do and um so it's I don't know I guess regular you know not feeling like sometimes I feel the pressures of being like okay I need to get a sensory box together for Veda and then I need to get this and this and how can I make them have the best days ever like and it's a lot of pressure on yourself and then a lot of cleanup. And uh, so it was basically saying like, just letting them do things with you. Um, not only do they learn, but that can be like really fun for them. So they've been helping like cooking meals and like learning how to just little things like using the summer to help teach them how to do like life skills um, instead of focusing as much on trying to entertain them every day uh or like you know like most kids they're like I'm bored I'm bored like can you do this can you and like letting them be like okay well if you're bored then here are some things like let's see if we can clean out your closet or showing them like okay go through and do this and so it's kind of been what we're working on this uh this is so gross um what we're working on this summer is not as much like Last summer was a summer of so many camps and trying to keep, you know, like wanting them to like just have so much fun doing so many things. Um, and I feel like we all got worn out. So Lexi's been doing cheer camp in the mornings, but um, she has to do that for cheer. But anyways, just wanting, so if you have stuff that you love to do with your kids during the summer, um, I just kind of want to go back to like a 1980s, early 90s summer where it's like, here's a couple totes, here's a water hose, here's like a sponge and some dish soap. We can wash the cars, like old school summer, making popsicles, using sidewalk chalk, like that's kind of what we're doing. Um... Oh, thank you so much about the camp. I'm so proud. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of Adam. Like, to be honest, none of the stuff would have got, like I had fun decorating, but like um, none of the stuff would have gotten done if it wasn't for him. He did such a good job of like coordinating crews and getting things done and doing things that we didn't know how to do, but he like learned. Um, I don't know what we were thinking. We kind of, I guess we're impulsive about it because we went up, saw this rundown camp and I just like, I guess pretended I was Joanna Gaines. I'm like, I can, like, it'll be beautiful. Yes. I can totally like imagine how amazing this would be and not taking into consideration, hey, you don't know how to do plumbing. Hey. Uh, you don't know how to rebuild a foundation. Uh, hey, you've had an Airbnb, but you're going to have to like buy it everything times 10. So it's been like so expensive because it's like you need an ironing board. 
perfect, 30 bucks times 10. You're like, whew, that's $300. And then you're like, oh, and you need an iron? Perfect, another $20 times 10, that's 200. And it's like everything you buy is like that. Refrigerator, oh good. Well, times 10. And then a bed, oh, twin beds times 10. Big beds times 10. And you start doing it and you're like, what were we thinking? So we're really excited that the camp is finally like, you know, people would be like, hey, we're coming to town. I'd love to stay. And we're like, it isn't ready. It took us so much longer. Um, I had somebody message yesterday and they were like, if you have any advice, like there's a place down the road, we would love to fix it. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, just if, just be prepared. It will probably be more expensive than you expected and take you longer. It took us like, we thought it would take us four or five months. It took us a year, um, kind of thing, but I'm not saying it won't be worth it, uh, in the long run. Um, but I was like, I don't want to be like giving you false hope. It is depending on how much work yours needs done. Um, takes a minute. Isn't that like with any home project? You're like, okay, or reno. You're like, I bet I could do this with this much. And I just feel like we will walk in to Walmart or somewhere 10 minutes and be like, okay, we need to grab like laundry detergent, paper towels, and like lunch, some stuff for lunch or whatever. And you're like, it's $100 or $200, like 10 minutes and not even like expensive things, just like necessities. And so anyways, like it's crazy. Have you guys ever couponed? I used to be um, an obsessive couponer. Haven't done it in years, but I'm really considering it. I feel like I loved it when I did it. It's just a lot of work, you know, and you have everybody. And I also didn't really work back then. It was when the kids were little. I had a photography business, but it wasn't nearly as, I could be gone for like two hours and then editing some photos. It was nothing like how busy our lives are now, but. Oh, I'm so sorry, Wendy. Her daughter is sick. She asked if we could pray for her daughter. She has pink eye in both eyes and RSV. Oh, that's so scary. Yes. Absolutely. We'll just pray for her right now. We'll just pray. Dear Lord, I just pray that you wrap your arms around Wendy's daughter. I pray that you just heal her body from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. I pray that you heal her RSV. Um, give the doctors wisdom of what to do to help with her and help her pink eye. Um, that she just, just starts feeling better and better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pink eye. Ugh so bad. Natalie's husband has pink eye right now. And, um, she's like trying her best not to get it. Her, um, her eye was itching. Yes. Uh, Thursday. No, today's Thursday. Her eye was itching Tuesday and she was like, Oh, I better not be getting pink eye. Uh, I was like, I'm going to sit one chair over just in case. And then that's like when your kids are sick, you still like have to love on them and take care of them. And you're just like, love you so much and I'm praying right now that I don't get the stomach bug that you have. Oh, but you know that you're probably just like going to, but you have to take care of them. <sighs> like when you see a bug, I hate bugs. Um, okay. This is Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide. I'm trying a new one today. I got their whole bundle. So I've just been trying a different mascara all week this week. Pretty, pretty. Um, so, so good. Love good mascara. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you're new here, um, Natalie 
is uh, my assistant. She works with me. She helps with like tons of things that uh, making sure like links are where they're supposed to be and switching things on and off and helping me not forget important things I'm supposed to do and the the list goes on and on and so um she works from home some days and she works from here other days and um when we had Jane and Kate she helped us uh with the boutique and she would do trial hauls with me sometimes too. They weren't her favorite. But I would be like, huh, we have 900 small sweatshirts. I can't wear a small sweatshirt. I'm like, Natalie, you look so cute in small sweatshirts. And she would graciously come on and do lives. And she might have ended up even liking it by the end. Uh, but I can, anytime we like talk about like that season she's like who good old try on hauls uh so the coupon for grande uh it was only good for 48 hours but if you go to courtneyswan.com um i have a link for grande lashes there and i have court the code courtney swan saves you 15 percent off so it's not 20 percent off but it is 15 percent off and they still have the sale going So Natalie's one of those people, you know, when you pray just for like God to bring you people into your life that are like great friends and build you up and don't tear you down. And like, just, I don't know, just one of those people that I spend a ridiculous amount of time with, but well, like, don't ever argue. At least you get along good. Like those are just great relationships to treasure in your life. Doing like pretty natural today, folks. Where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Um, and it would like get progressively louder, like, oh, where, where? It was my hairbrush. Well, that's how I feel about my chapstick. I'm like, oh, where? Where are most things? Most things that I lose. I'm like, huh. Sure, it's around here somewhere. So many drawers. I have no idea. I even try to be organized. I try and put some things back where they go. Eras. Oh well, we'll use these. These are from Herbal Alchemy. They're just little luminizing sticks. So pink. Um, I haven't really been letting it grow out of my hair. It's just almost washed out. So uh, the way it works is my hair's blonde and then we put pink on top of the blonde and then the more you wash it the more the pink kind of comes out and it's just time for me to get my hair done so I go next week for an, on Wednesday but I'm not doing pink I'm gonna go red um I have not done red hair in years uh I love hair changing hair color and for a while I stayed like just dark hair for a long time and I just kind of missed the fun of having some fun like something fun and different and so anyways I'm gonna go red and then who knows what'll be next I have no idea um also to put it out there with like oh where is my whatever um when I go into my daughter's bedrooms, 
there is always an excessive amount of skincare, makeup, all the things. And normally it's a good bit of my stuff. So sometimes what I will blame on myself, uh, I'll be like, why, how did I lose this or whatever? And then I walk in their room and I'm like, hmm, I didn't lose this. Somebody snatched it. Um, or I put it back in the wrong spot. Paula Ferris Happy Salve. Absolutely love this. Uh, it is a really hydrating chapstick. Um, feels so good on. If you struggle with dry lips, it just feels like takes away all that dryness. Um, so Palma Fira has 99 cent shipping today until midnight. And then Modere, if you've been looking for any like of the weight loss products, um, hormonal type products, anything like that, uh, they have their deal going on until June 17th, which is my sister's birthday. Um, and that's Saturday and uh, they have 10% off site-wide. So if you're needing anything from Modere, uh, those um, digestive enzymes, uh, they're only $15. So if you've been struggling with like bloat and um, just like bloating or breaking down, you know, your food regularly type thing. Um, so if you've been struggling with that, I was like blown away by the price on those. Um, and yeah, so those are the deals going on. And then the Camp Swan deal is going on until Sunday at midnight. And uh, that is the code best dad for 20% off a stay at the camp. And you just go to campswan.com to book that. And so, um, and if you have questions and you're like, oh, I don't feel like I, you know, I need to know more about whatever, you can send me a message here on this page. You just shoot me a message and I can shoot you back some details. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a good day and um, if you have been feeling overwhelmed by having a bunch of kids home this summer or just life or work or anything that you have going on, like 10 out of 10 recommend if you can take a nap that normally fixes all things. If you haven't had a snack lately or some water and then, uh, just remembering like God's mercies are new every day. And sometimes I feel like when the days have just been like a long day, you're like, it's kind of good to put in your head, like Today is one of those days where I just kind of feel like tomorrow's a new day and then I can choose that the rest of the day we are going to like make the best of the rest of today, you know? So if you, any of you are kind of feeling that way, um, sometimes I feel like it is hard to show up on days where you feel, hmm. Uh, and for me, I feel like you have to like come on and be like, okay, like, it, it, like try and be happy and inspiring and like all these things. And then sometimes there's just like, uh, like a, a lot going on in, in our lives and it's like a little overwhelming and our, we're human, you know? And so, um, just kind of keeping it real of like, we all have those days too. So anyways, um, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye y'all.